You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The BDF Commander in Chief hailed the historic and honorable football achievement, paying tribute to His Majesty's royal directives to support all sports activities in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health and happiness to continue bolstering Bahrain's progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable from the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq's national team in the final. The Minister congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on Bahrain national team's winning first place in the tournament, describing the achievement as an assertion of the royal support to the sports sector and a reflection of the advanced level of Bahraini football. He noted that the achievement of the Bahraini sports is a fruit of His Royal Highness's care and attention of the sports sector in the kingdom and his keenness to include Bahrain sports within the government action program which aided many Bahraini achievements in the sports sector. He noted that the new achievement of Bahraini football is a product of His Royal Highness's support, pointing out that the future benefits will enable the team to stand out, confirming the great developments Bahraini sports and football is witnessing. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on Bahrain's winning the First Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The BDF Commander in Chief hailed the historic and honorable football achievement and paid tribute to His Majesty the King, hailing his royal directives to support all sports activities in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with abundant health and happiness to continue bolstering Bahrain's progress progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable from the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating hosts Iraq in the final. The Minister congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on Bahrain national team's winning first place in the tournament, describing the achievement as an assertion of the royal support to the sports sector and a reflection of the advanced level of Bahraini football. He noted that the achievements of the Bahraini sports, including the achievements of football in West Asia is the fruit of His Royal Highness's care and attention of the sports sector in the kingdom and his keenness to provide all the prerequisites of success for the athletes in order to represent Bahrain in the best way in continental and global forms. He expressed aspiration for the national team to achieve more victories in a consistent manner and bringing about distinguished achievements. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al Mu'ayyad, praised the interests of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their keenness on supporting the national teams. He affirmed that their directions for the Bahraini Football Association provided the suitable environment for the team players, which helped make this achievement. The Minister praised the efforts of the players of the national team and their keenness to represent the kingdom in an honorable manner with determination and dedication in all tournament matches in order to achieve the first place in the tournament. He also praised the efforts of the technical and administrative staff of the team. He expressed wishes that the sincere efforts led by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the members of the board of directors will create the ideal atmosphere for the team to achieve more victories for Bahraini football. Al Mu'ayyad congratulated Iraq on the successful organization of the West Asian Football Championship, noting the efforts of his Iraqi counterpart Ahmed Riyad Al Abedi in supporting the regional championship. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the national football team winning the West Asian Football Championship held in Iraq. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa considered the achievements of the football team as a true embodiment of the care and attention of the sports sector and a translation of the directives of, to provide all the prerequisites that enhance Bahrain's position on the sporting scene regionally and globally. He also congratulated His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He pointed out that the achievements of the national team in the West Asian Championship affirms the restoration of Bahrain's distinguished position regionally and globally. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim expressed his great 
great appreciation for the outstanding efforts exerted by the Bahrain Football Association in preparing the national team, expressing pride in the great technical levels presented by the stars of the team and their dedication to represent the kingdom in the best possible way. In the context of inspecting public readiness and security performance rates, Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan visited the General Directorate of Civil Defense, where he was received by the Director General of Civil Defense, Colonel Ali Mohammed Al Houthi, and a number of officers. During the visit, the Chief of Public Security briefed him on the importance and rapid response rates of reports, from receiving the reports through the operating room to the commencement of the reports and the performance of the tasks and duties required in the efforts to protect public safety. The Chief of Public Security was also briefed on the readiness access and the work of the National Committee for Disaster Response and Emergency Procedures. He praised the directives of the Minister of Interior, which included stressing on the level of readiness to ensure the advancement of the humanitarian responsibilities of the civil defense, directing to increase the efficiency and capabilities of civil defense and development through the introduction of the latest systems and mechanisms used in applications of artificial intelligence. He noted the increase of manpower projects in civil defense centers in all governorates and the development of mechanisms and equipment and the use of the latest communication technologies noting the importance of educational programs to educate citizens and residents how to prevent accidents. He praised the efforts of the General Directorate of Civil Defense in holding specialized training courses and providing an integrated training environment which contributes to raising readiness and efficiency expressing appreciation to all its employees for their sincere efforts and professional performance in protecting lives and property. In a related context, the Director General of the General Directorate of Civil Defense said that the department pays great attention to the aspects of protection and safety and creates an environment conducive to growth and effective communication with the public through initiatives that can create effective partnerships to achieve the required integration between all sectors, bodies and individuals.